So Delaney brought to our attention prolific works and book sirens. And I mentioned also written word media because Vivi Willie had used them. So these are book promotion sites or communities that you can use. What if writing a book is not just a way to transform the lives of many people, but also a way to create financial freedom and leave a legacy? Wouldn't you want to find out just how to do that? Well, that's what this show is all about. Hi, I'm Henneke Watkiss, Porter Speaker, Coach, Author of Podcast Power, and the host of the Entrepreneurial You Podcast, inviting you to listen to the Entrepreneur Secrets Podcast, brought to you by C. Ruth Taylor, best-selling in the author and the Caribbean's most trusted voice on entrepreneurship. Tune in for inspiration, information, and innovation to write and win with books. Get ready to dominate entrepreneurship. It's episode 155 of the Entrepreneur Secrets Podcast. I'm your host, Rose Taylor, and in today's show, we are doing a recap of the lessons learned from our best-selling romance writers. And so you don't want to miss that. And I'll also be reminding you to join me for the annual Rocket Writing Challenge. So stay tuned. All right. So during the month of October, we did something different in resuming the podcast. I decided to interview romance writers to find out, you know, what are they doing because it's a top selling genre and I wanted to see what our Caribbean people are doing. And so I did an interview with Aminita Coot from Jamaica and Delaney Diamond from the U.S. Virgin Islands. And I also interviewed a new romance author, Vivi Willie. And they're writing in different genres. For example, Aminata, she writes clean Christian romance. Uh, Delaney writes romantic suspense novels, billionaire romance. And uh, Vivi Willie, hers is a contemporary romance. And so I want to use this episode to recap. And I am dubbing it Best Seller Secrets of romance authors because all three are Amazon best-selling authors with Delaney Diamond being a USA Today best-selling author. So these are successful authors. All right, so here are the top tips or the bestseller secrets of these romance authors that we can adopt our own writing and publishing journey so that we can sell more books and make a living with our writing. Secret number one is doing newsletter swaps, right? And uh, what I'm going to do is if you come to the Caribbean Entrepreneur Summit, if you register for that, I'm going to produce this cheat sheet, so to speak as a giveaway. <laughs> so you can go to entrepreneursecrets.com and register for the Caribbean Entrepreneur Summit, which is going to be held January 24 to 25 in 2025. So newsletter swaps. And in order to do that, what each of the romance writers do, those who are successful, is that they grow their mailing list or their email list of readers. So number two would be their email list. And that is they're growing their, their fan base, inviting persons to join their newsletter list. And they normally give away something. So the, the, the third bestseller secret there for them is to give away a book, a short story. The successful romance writers, they do that. So that would be number three. They do book promotions. Now, Aminata is experimenting with ads. Delaney is no longer doing Amazon ads, but they promote, the newsletter swaps is promote, but they do collaborative, I call it collaborative book promotion with other authors. 
and also groups. So Delaney brought to our attention prolific works and book sirens. And I mentioned also written word media because Vivi really had used them. So these are book promotion sites or communities that you can use, all right? You have like book bubs. So these would be paid promotions, but it is to a targeted group. Number five, if my numbers, numbering is correct, is that they write in series. So to be a successful romance author or fiction author, one book will not do. So you have to write several books. So Aminita has over 35 and Delaney has over 50. So you have to write in series. The other thing that we learned in order to do this from Aminita is that she has a production schedule. She has certain months in the year when books come out. I think she mentioned March, October, and another month. So you know that she is putting out three to four books each year. And so the readers anticipate that. So if you wanna make it big, selling fiction or romance, one book will not do. Writing in series is the thing to do. And uh, there's usually a free book. The other thing is that the price, you have to understand how to price the book. And for romance, the price is usually low. For the ebook, especially, most romance readers who are voracious, they're not going to buy the book for more than $4.99. And so you have to be careful about that in terms of how you price it. They also talk about, um, I think I mentioned it already, collaboration with other authors to promote, cross promote. And we're talking mostly eBooks here. And uh, one of the things we learned from Aminata is that we need to adopt an experimental mindset. So you'll be listening to other podcasts, which is one of our secrets. So I'm at maybe number seven. Adopt an experimental mindset and you'll hear what other people do and you will take two or three tips and say, uh, let me try this and see if it works or if it doesn't work. So adopt an experimental mindset. Also, number eight would be keep listening and learning from others, right? So Aminata listens to other podcasts and she's continually learning. Number 10, they're part of communities, right? Or groups. So they know who their tribe is. So they're part of other romance writing communities, people who write similar books. And this is what enables them to team up, cross promote and get things done. So you don't want to be trying to do everything on your own. And then from Vivi Willie, we learned that even though it's romance, it can lend itself to teaching if you're open to doing that or to ministry. So with her book, I Feel Like Leah, she wants to speak and encourage women who feel unloved or to help young people to develop healthy romantic relationships. And so she's gonna use her book, like to start a book club, and to teach and address the issue and, and speak in different places. So Delaney and Aminata. So Delaney, for example, does not show her face anywhere, right? And she is making a living with her writing. So there are authors who write on their pen name and they want to remain anonymous. And you can do that. From Delaney's example, we recognize that you can sell the books, you can do well without showing your face out there. And what she does, she will have, she, I think this is number 10, leverage other people's platform and their audiences. So she go in front of other people's audiences. And that's where like going on a podcast, of course, it would be an audio podcast. And that kind of thing helps. I recognize too, I think this maybe is number 11, if my math is correct or my numbering, <laughs> is that 
they are also on social media. So even though Delaney doesn't show her face, she's on social media. They are still building communities, talking about their books, showcasing something. And all of them have a, a presence. So that web presence, Delaney has her own website. Aminata has her own website. So they're not just selling only on Amazon. They're selling wide. Vivi Willie just started, but I'm sure she's going to go in that direction to publish wide beyond Amazon. And that has also helped. So I trust that these tips from the interviews will help you to become a best-selling author, help you to sell more of your books if you are going into romance or fiction, they should help you to write more books or, or know, like, I need to write more books. So I trust that you found those tips helpful. And thus we conclude our series on marketing and selling romance novels and ideas to make a living selling romance. Your book is the perfect spark to get the fire going in your personal life, career, business, or ministry. Light that book spark today. All right. So we're going to close the show with my entrepreneurship ventures. I'm excited about November because November is NaNoWriMo. And I also use November for our annual rocket writing competition in the in the in the entrepreneurs Facebook group, which I lead. And so if I don't write a book at any other time, certainly in November, I attempt to write a book or finish a book. So I want to encourage you listeners to join us. Uh, whether you're going to join NaNoWriMo and write a novel, a 50,000 word novel in a month, or you're going to join our rocket writing competition to write a small nonfiction book, or it could be fiction. Uh, between 10,000 to 30,000 words. If it's fiction, that would be a novella, right? And it can be a micro book, a small nonfiction book. And so we're going to start November 1. To prepare you for that journey, I've been promoting the Rocket Writing Masterclass, which will teach you how to write your story or a book in 24 hours. And you can go to entrepreneursecrets.com to download it. It's free. We have video tutorials on, on how to write, audio tutorials. There is also the book, The Rocket Writer. The ebook is there and the audio book. And it's also an introduction to entrepreneurship or author entrepreneurship. So want to encourage you to dive into that. And that should be how you prepare for the challenge. Come November 1, I am planning to finish a book that I had started, uh, Untold Stories, book two. And I'm still working on Better Than I Dreamed. I'm refining it, doing self-editing and refining. Uh, I'm at week three of six. So chances are during the first part of the competition, I'll be working on that, finishing up that book so that I can now send it to a professional editor and start the publishing process. And then I'm going to come back to Untold Stories book uh, two. I have five stories that were recorded. Some of the stories included. So I would need to listen to those stories and then transcribe it and then turn them into chapters. So I intend to finish that during the challenge and there is a prize, the first person to finish, you know, clock the, between 10,000 and 30,000 words. You're going to get a certificate. And if you choose to publish through the Entrepreneur Secrets Academy in January, take on the challenge of publishing without breaking the bank. And our figure is don't pass a thousand US dollars. Then you would get three months free membership. 
And that can allow you to get the coaching and the guidance you need to publish this book, right? So the academy would begin the coaching and the masterclasses and the meeting so would begin in February, but registration uh, is from the opening of the summit until the end of the summit in January. That's the Caribbean Entrepreneur Summit. So will you join me for the challenge? I plan to, I think I was saying each Thursday, I would set a time that we can have a writing sprint together for at least 30 minutes. That will ensure that some activity takes place and we build some kind of community with that. I'm still in two minds whether I'm going to offer a Zoom link or stream it on YouTube because we can't stream into the Facebook group like we used to. So I have just been trying to divert things to the YouTube channel. But I think I'm leaning towards a Zoom because Zoom can hold up to 100 people, right, on the plan that I have. And so maybe Thursdays at noon, Jamaica time, that that can happen. Midday writing sprint to just see how many words we can get done or if we can get a chapter done doing this. So I invite you to join me for the rocket writing competition so we can end 2024 on a bank with a book that we will publish within the first three to six months of the new year. And that would be the latest in terms of my authorpreneurship ventures. All right. Uh, no ally news this week. I just wanted to wrap up our October series on writing, selling, and marketing romance, and uh, by extension, fiction, <laughs> commercial fiction. So thank you for listening. I trust that those tips, you found them very useful and that they will help you to sell more books and to write more books. Remember, of making many books, there is no end. So go, pen it to win it, and dominate entrepreneurship. Ta for now, until next time.